I'm Smitty. I'm about to eat some duck soup. <laughs> it's really good too. Awesome. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> I feel like that bit in Hannibal Lecter. Oh, that's hot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta do it again because I wasn't recording. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm, I'm serious. I missed all of that. We're recording now. Right, ready? <laughs> Slow and seductive. Mmm. 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 Mm. Lick your lips. Arch your back a little bit. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Am I being recorded? Yes. Tell the, start telling the story and say it loud. Y'all gotta listen! <laughs> what? Are y'all listening? Yeah. Okay. So, wait, I gotta be sitting down. Come on. Okay, hold, hold on. I, I gotta sit down as I tell the story because I gotta gesticulate wildly as I do it. What the hell is this? Anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, what's going on here? Okay. All right. Listen, ye. Okay. So I lived. Let's pump. We we gotta go back. This is so complicated. Um. Okay. There was. Uh, first of all, is anyone offended by me saying words like fat and fatness and things like that? Okay, are we all good? Because that word is very important to this story. Okay. So. I'm offended. These, okay, I will allow you to use the support leg. Okay. I need, I need my emotional support leg. Okay. Thank you. So. Anyway, it was these two guys, Stephen and Sean, that I was friends with Stephen, um, and he started dating this guy named Sean. And... Then I started dating this guy named Chris, who was extremely large at some point, then had lap band surgery, but he would, when he got the band filled, instead of eating like how normal people eat, he would just take a tub of ice cream and melt it and eat that and be like, oh, well, it's, it's not solids, you know? So he <laughs> stayed big. He just lost oh. a little bit of weight. But um, he still looked, he, I mean, he looked good, but he was, you know, he was big. So... We dated, and he lived with me, and then we broke up. So he went to go live with Stephen and Sean. And so he was living with them, and they moved to a new apartment, all three of them. And so he was sleeping on an air mattress, but because of his fatness, he laid on the bed, and the air mattress, it just, like, it, it popped. Okay, so uh -huh. air mattress finished. And so he's like, what the hell, you know? He can't fit on the couch because, uh, you know, he's rolling off of it. And so, like, his rolls, you know? So, anyway, well, Stephen had a dead grandmother. And his dead grandmother's bed, her, her bedroom suite, was in the attic of his mother's house. Okay, and the house is burned down now, by the way. But anyway, so... So, um, it, the bedroom suite was up there, so Cam and Sean, they crawled up in the attic. They, they were really big guys, too, so somehow they made it up there, pulled the bedroom suite down while Chris was at work. Okay, so when he came home from work, he was pleasantly surprised that now here he had a, bed, a bedroom. Like, he had this really nice bed and mattress and all this stuff, so he was really very pleased and happy about this, like, wow, you know, these are really my friends, look, and they even bought, like, bedding for it and stuff, it was really pretty, so time goes, time goes, you know, and uh, Chris and I and Stephen and Sean, like, we, we all had this falling out, and, you know, I didn't talk to them for a long time, but then, through the magic of Facebook, hmm. I reconnected with some friends of, uh, friends of friends. They, this girl, she's no longer friends with them, but she was for a while. So anyway, the story goes that Stephen and Sean got in a fight with Chris, so he was going to move out. And they started doing these things to, like, spite him, okay? Now, Chris was really into those left-behind things, you know, and, and the little part of the story where the people are, like, in the airplane and the rapture happens, and then suddenly you just see clothes there because yeah. their body got wrapped in, in heaven. They didn't need clothes. So Chris came home one day, 
And the bedroom suite was gone. Bed gone, mattress gone, everything gone. But the sheets and the bedding and the pillowcase, because I took the pillow, were laying there perfectly made <laughs> as though the bed was raptured. But nothing else was there. So um, anyway, and that happened while he was at work, and then he moved out later that day. He was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay, After you wrapped my bed, what else is there to say? He never knew what happened to the bed. It was gone. So. That's real. Yeah. Still wow. Real. Should I eat this now? Next time we're gonna do Who is getting this video? Why do you always record me doing weird stuff? Stay like intended. <laughs> so this is a chicken? Duck. It's a duck. Mm -hmm. um, stop! That's I'm just here. recording like your mouth. No! Yes. Put, put the spoon in your mouth. No, that's disturbing. <laughs> You're gonna get my yucky, yucky, yucky skin on that. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, mm. I spent a lot of money on my wells mm. of Botox earlier today, so we aren't going to discuss the details. Can I Stop see your puncture it. wounds? I didn't get it done today. I'm getting it next week. Oh, I'm going to have my frozen face. I'm going to be like, I'm really angry at you. I'm very joy-filled. It is my mother's funeral. Uh, You're joy-filled on your mother's funeral? No. Look, 